Hello, welcome to a video where I fix the timing on my hook on my sewing machine. So, Transformer fans, you don't need to watch this. Nobody needs to watch this. Everyone else, check it out. Alright, what I did forget, I, you know, just I was all excited about adjusting the needle angle. So, let me show you the, the bottom of the sewing machine here. And, let's zoom in on that. So, we got this one shaft here. It's like a drive shaft, and it it is moved by... Look, I'm moving it now. I'm just turning the, the hand dial over there. And it moves the whole thing, right? And I, I've learned that this, uh, this is called the feed dog, and it moves the little those little things to move the fabric. And this piece here, I need to get this thing lower, um, is the, the hook a gear wheel, I'm, I'm going to call it. And it has these two Allen wrench nuts in there. You loosen those and you can adjust this, which will in turn adjust the hook. Because the hook is the hook. As you can see there, it's right there. There's a, like a little, this little piece here, I'm going to use this, that little thing right there with the little Allen wrench nut right there, that's holding down the hook onto the its base. This piece here, that's what's rotating around and rotating the hook around because uh, it's going to be hard to show, but I'm going to give it a try. From the back, because we like it from the back. See that, and, that, and that's maybe the only, maybe semi root comment I'm gonna make, maybe hopefully. So it's all greased up like uh, things should be. <laughs> and uh, so that thing rotates around and spins at the 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 hook around. Uh, it's not. Oh, that's a good angle over there. You can see in there. Let's see if it'll focus. Come on, baby. Give me some focusing. Well, yeah, you can, you can kind of see there's a, you know, back in there there's a, some gears in there. So, anyway, you just adjust that, and when you're adjusting it, you want to make sure that the back of the needle. This is why I'm the back of the needle, that little groove part in the needle, which I broke in my other needle, and I don't have any needles here because that would be something useful to have while I'm making a video about sewing. Of course, Ruben, you don't have anything with it. All right, well, this is going to be impossible to show. <laughs> All right, so I took a break and I put the machine back together, and I just want to show you the needle. So you can see, right there, there's a little flat part, that's called the scarf, and on the needle, the hook's supposed to pass right between there and pick up the, the thread loop when the needle's coming up, and then that will help make the stitch. So let's show that. And this is, of course, just an adjustment on my machine, not... Nothing has actually broken, just things have gotten out of, you know, line or something like that. So here comes the needle. It's already threaded. It's coming down. It's coming down. There's the needle. It's being happy. And it the hook right behind the boom. Picks up the... Picks up the... The loop and the thread, and then it takes it around the bobbin, and you would make your stitch right there. All right, so that's what's happening there. So when you're when you're when you're getting your needle, when you're making the adjustment on the hook, you know, it's kind of make it like when it like passes right behind the on the scarf there. So it's easy to pick up. Okay. So we're going to put in our little uh, bobbin basket, Mr. Bobbin basket. How are you, Mr. Bobbin basket? Well, I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Bob and Basket talks a lot. 
And sometimes he says bad words. I don't know why. But when you're sewing and bad words come out of your mouth, that was influenced by the bobbin basket. And Mr. Bobbin is in there. So that's actually the lady who's saying the bad Oh, I should have put that one in first. I should put in this base plate. And I don't know what the... I don't know the names of the parts. I'm just calling this a base plate. So, you know. I'm just, you know, for me, this part goes into this, and then this part goes here, and then you push the button, and then it all comes together and works. And that's how I do my sewing. And, yeah. So, sorry if I don't call the things by the right names. Alright, so, we got that thing all hooked up there. And I've been stitching already, so I'm going to just do another one on top of all the other ones that I've been doing. Beep. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give it a little bit of juice. And we're on uh, half turtle rabbit mode there. I'm going to push the button. Start, stop button in Japanese written. There it goes. It's going. Oh, you don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Something's happening. It's a crazy freaking stitch. What could be coming out? Alright, we're going to stop it. Alright, that's good. And then, we're going to pull out all the threading. And, you know. And it works! Look, both threads are on the thing. I almost knocked over my wine glass. And we got a nice little pretty flower looking stitch. Well, not so pretty on the back there, but... I think you can clean that up. I think there's a little bit of tension issues there, but... Anyway... Uh, that's been how I fixed my hook timing issues. Uh, if I've helped you out, well, then I'm happy. Because I like to help out people. Uh, please, uh, leave your comments down there. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your sewing. This has been, please also don't watch any of my other videos. Because uh, sewing people are, I think, a little bit more sensitive than uh, Transformer fans. After you after you finish your sewing, you make yourself a Transformer coat like this. Because Transformers walk around naked. And they have their parts hanging out. And they lubricate on people. And it's kind of dirty and nasty. So you want to make a coat for your Transformer. Alright guys. Talk to you guys later. A kanpai. Kanpai, of course, in Japanese is cheers. Or bottoms up. Bye-bye. Be mom. Naked trans.